Welcome everyone back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is episode 43 and 44 of One Piece on the One Piece Boldcast One Piece anime channel. Leave a like, subscribe. Let's see how this all shakes out with Arlong and Luffy and all the other stuff going on. Hope you enjoy the reaction. Let's go. Check out Patreon to get two weeks in. No, he's gonna get so mad. Oh boy. Oh shit. Looks freaky there. He's just taunting him with that at this point. <laughs> It's not just a desk, it's a drafting table. Even worse. How could you say that? You're not dealing with an ordinary desk anymore, Frieza. Oh, you fucked up. <laughs> you didn't invest anything. Snap his nose off. <laughs> oh my god, look at his nose. Damn it. Shit. <laughs> w. Is that it? Is it the, the whole final thing move? Down. Get out of there.
Yeah, all like blown into the water. <laughs> Classic. He's chilling. That's what Faith looks like. Oh God. <laughs> That's what kills him. Yeah. <laughs> He'll bounce back. A joyous day mm -hmm. indeed. <laughs> Imagine if he was like, Nami! Give me my hand back! <laughs> Oh my god. What, what? What now? What do you want? You got all the money. Don't ruin people's fun. <laughs> oh my god. Who <laughs> stopped standing there like he did something? <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Just hit him again. Fucking rat. <laughs> that was easy. He's the new new Momu. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. He's gonna put out the bounty for him. Mm. <laughs> Can we get a doctor to like rebandage him up quickly? Yeah, he's pretty destroyed. <laughs> what if this wasn't a flashback? This was just happening right <laughs> yeah. now. How Nami and her sister have like opposite <laughs> arms, like with tattoos on them. Mm -hmm.
Is this gonna be Garp? Are we gonna finally mm. hear about hear from Garp? <laughs> what did they do? They defeated the Arlong pirates. Excuse me. Based on their dangerousness. Yeah. Based on nothing but their dangerousness and your petty behavior. <laughs> There's Usopp in the back. Oh, yeah. That was always so funny when Usopp's like, look, that's me in the back. What you think of that? It's good. I just, I love how he's like, they were able to take the, they, they're so dangerous. They were able to take down these pirates. It's like, not like a good thing. Like, yeah. Like, oh, they took down those pirates that like you couldn't seem to take down for like 10 years. I wonder if they'll be like, oh, there's already a report on these guys. They've been, you know, causing mischief through the last, mm -hmm. in these last other place. And that, you know, maybe that'll get added to it. Yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, other than that, not much to really say. Some flashbacks and, you know, he beat Arlong and mm -hmm. that's kind of it. And yeah. You just move on to the next one. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. We're getting dangerously, dangerously close. Maybe after the next episode, we'll, we'll be past where, essentially, oh, yeah. where the live action left off. Mm -hmm. I think someone said what episode what we should do a discussion after, but I can't remember. I think it was 44. Yeah, so it would be next episode. Wow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, stay tuned for the dis the, po the, the discussion, everybody. Mm -hmm. Leave a like and subscribe. Let's move on to the next one. He just looks like such a troll. He doesn't look like he's being serious. He's just like, my treasure, eh? <laughs> These idiots. <laughs> like At the end of the day, but it ended up being kind of similar to, it's like the live action kind of went more extreme with what what ended up happening because like Arlong was just destroying the whole castle but like when mm -hmm. Luffy was just like I'll destroy everything yeah then he when it was like the charts and the maps that's what actually matters so it actually kind of makes more sense this way because like you know he didn't really give a shit about this building yeah but he cares about like you know the fact that he has these priorities makes a lot more it's a lot more realistic mm. that he's like you know it's, it's like if he just like started burning his money like yeah. you know setting out with a smile. I, I just read that one. It didn't seem like this was gonna be a spoiler. <laughs> like that was gonna be a spoilery one. Arlong comes back and kills Luffy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Arlong's not dead? <laughs> Whoa. I mean, he's probably not dead, but. <laughs> he retired. Yeah, he retired. <laughs> I think I shirt is just OH. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, don't come up from him. Don't approach him from the side because he might think that you're a steak and he might just eat you instantly. Ah, oh, why does it look like a plate? <laughs> the swallow sound they use in this every time is so weird. No. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need now. <laughs> He's just like, well, stop getting all sliced up, and we won't need a doctor. What about Momu? Yeah, what about Momu? Justice for Mo- Hashtag justice for Momu. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Oh, he didn't cook this time. <laughs> Why? 
Damn. raw ham melon. <laughs> Stacks up like a bunch of tables. child She got one hundred and eighty five. <laughs> Just ruining a moment. <laughs> he, he literally doesn't even know. My deepest conveniences. <laughs> nice. Jesus. Deepest concussions is right, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of morons it's it's funny as well because of the whole tattoo thing like in japan tattoos are like if you have a tattoo people think you're in the yakuza mm -hmm. so with that kind of context it makes sense that like nami Upon getting any tattoo, like was seeing her sister with a tattoo, even though it doesn't mean anything, yeah, it's just like what? Why would you do that? Now you're you're like kind of like ruined in like a traditional sense, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just kind of accepting like her getting another tattoo is like accepting the nonconformity that she doesn't have to, you know, that she can be who she wants to be without worrying about. Is that all her anything. money? Did she go get it back from the Marines? I don't know. I thought that she said, you'll give me my goddamn money back. So I, I think they did get it back. So a storm came in and wiped out all of our money. It's 
<laughs> I wonder if they're gonna be like hunting them at some point. Because now they're gonna have their <laughs> bounty. see the bounty. <laughs> Another? She can get more. She also risked it for you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she wasn't expecting to keep it anyway. <laughs> so dramatic with the with the shirt on. She's going to reveal her tattoo. Oh my god, it just pulls up the anchor just by hand. <laughs> Pretty slick. All of their wallets? Why would she do that? <laughs> she just gave them a ton of money. So but like, why it. should we take those? <laughs> What's the point of that? Gonna show the tattoo. Oh, he swipe it. <laughs> so that's why he got the pinwheel. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. This is the baby that was laughing after an entire play. A bunch of people just got murdered and a town got destroyed. What'd you think of that one? You cried quite a bit a number of times. It was just so nice. Freaking Luffy eating all the meat. Just like, just ate the entire village's supply of sheep or cows or pigs or whatever the hell. Yeah. <laughs> whatever, whatever animal that was. Uh, he, he ate all of it. He ate all of them. <laughs> Deservedly so. Mm hmm And luckily Nami left all that money because the amount of food that they ate dur the, during this time. <laughs> and no one like is coming to trade, you know? Yeah. But they would have been pretty rough, especially after all their wallets got stolen. That's <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> yeah, why did she do that? Like, what's the maybe point? Ju maybe just just to kind of, kind of be a memer at the end there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, why leave all the money and then just steal all that stuff? <laughs> um, just to remember them by their wallets. I guess, but she's definitely just gonna take the money and then throw those overboard. <laughs> Maybe just to give them something to get all riled up about so they don't feel too bad about her leaving, mm -hmm. like, super abruptly without saying goodbye. I love that that's what her tattoo is. I didn't know that that's what yeah. it was. I like that because it's like, it's like, again, and Belmare, like, mm -hmm. c c combined. It's like, a t it's like a tattoo for her adoptive parents, essentially. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah, that's one thing that the live action definitely didn't get right was Gen's importance to her life. Yeah. Like he was just, he seemed like he was just kind of like uh, around. Like he seemed like he was like the character that like just kind of represented everyone else in yeah. the town. It was like, 
oh, we have Nami's sister here, and then we have like the te- the kind of leader of this town that is like, like the clearly mayor. the leader, but we're not gonna like get into him too much. In and the that kind of is what he is, but but, but the connection to, to Nami's backstory is, yeah. is very specific and. Even before, and like his relationship to Belmare and how like that kind of went, it's just I felt like the anime did so much more to improve Nami's relationship with the town in general, yeah, and speci- specifically like you know with with her sister and with Gen. Just it just it just makes the story way better in my opinion because it yeah the their relationship is so strong that it. It makes it real as to like why she sacrificed, and not makes it real because obviously she was just as valid in the live action for sacrificing everything. But I, I, I just really appreciate that it was so mutual and that she didn't have to like win them back over at the end. It was like they fully had faith in her and trusted her the entire time. Mm-hmm. I really like that, mm-hmm. and I love the little pinwheel thing as well. That's yeah, that, was that was so nice. I also just love how she's like scared of him as a baby. Belmar's like, no, don't come close to her. You're too scary for her. But like in the middle of a war, she was like, ah! <laughs> when she was a baby. <laughs> and this that last little scene with Belmar, like talking to each other. Yeah, the, well, yeah, or talking talk- to her. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. really nice. Yeah. Kind of like pushes her out the door. That I really like that. Yeah, very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and about the whole tattoo thing that I was saying, um, is it for I like I I think what I said might be kind of confusing to people who aren't aware. I think most people probably are, but um, in Japan, it's like the only people. I kind of said it, but the, the only people who get tattoos traditionally in like history were were members of the yakuza or like full-on criminals it was it was a measure of status in in like a crime family basically and that's what uh what arlong was using basically what he was sort of about he was sort of like they were sort of like the yakuza type deal that's why they had like a japanese castle and they all had this the you know his tattoo on them and it's basically like you're branded as like property or a member a member of this crime family so then there are plenty of businesses, again, I'm sure a lot of people are aware of this, there are a lot of businesses in Japan where if you have, like, like if you go to, if you go to get a massage or go to, like, a bathhouse or something in some places or in other, in other businesses, they have uh, rules where, you know, you're not, if you have tattoos, you're not allowed in because if you have tattoos, that's, like, culturally a symbol of criminality or, um, uh, ramp, I guess, uh, roguelike behavior because you know no, like people who are conformist and a member of society and 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 good you know good people don't don't have a need to get tattoos historically in the west here it's like you know fucking half half of people or more have a tattoo yeah. on somewhere in their body it's just like a, a little art piece to put on yourself and like a little memento that you want to keep with you all the time or just something that you like uh in japan it's you know it's it's generally really a bad thing it's a general generally like you know you're a bad person probably uh it's or at least it's seen that way traditionally i don't know if it's if that's changing somewhat but like you know generally speaking that's like the sort of cultural attitude towards that and you can imagine 20 years ago when this was being written for the first time uh that 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 uh, sort of idea was a lot more popular even even more than it might be today so the fact that uh, Nami is like breaking down because like I'm not even Arlong's friend. I'm not even you know I have a reason to get this. It's that, and it's it's specifically about her like relation to the uh, the pirate crew, but it's also sort of culturally and it's a, it's a cultural ar- artifact of Japan where you know the fact that she is has this tattoo. It's like she's branded for life as like a criminal, as like an, a bad person, as somebody who can't be a member of society. It's like basically her potential as like a normal person was completely cut off and it's not it's it's more than just like a colorful thing on your arm it's like a it's like a it's a it's a brand for life it's like on your permanent record it's like it's it's basically like she got you know arrested charged and then now everywhere she goes everyone's gonna know that she's a fucking evil person or a bad person or have all these prejudgments on her and uh, if you think about what that me- might mean again because tr- this is all traditional to like a woman it's like now 
she, her value as a person basically is completely thrown into question and is now, um, you know, kind of fucked basically. So the fact that Nojiko also makes that sacrifice and that it's viewed the, kind of the same way by both of them kind mm -hmm. of shows that it kind of, her, Nojiko getting it and then Nami, them both being like, oh, you just ruined, your, ruined yourself too, for, you know, for your future prospects. You've basically just completely cut off you know, again, it's if you view it literally in this village, I do, it's obviously doesn't matter. But again, this is this is a this is a property that exists in a society that has a certain cultural viewpoint on these things. So that's why it matters. It might not matter in Kokoyashi Village whether she whether or not you have a tattoo or not. But this is a Japanese property that you know exists within in Japan, and they have their own well, ideas around it. Well, I mean, even it. in this village, no one else that we s can see has tattoos. Yeah. And um, and she went and got like a like huge upper. And it's like what I I like that she got it for Nami as well to like make her not feel alone mm -hmm. because like I said before she has like everywhere except where Nami has like Nami has her tattoo on this arm and she has it like across her chest and down her other arm. Yeah. Which is kind of nice as well. Yeah. So and I, also she got like more of it and like yeah. constantly wears stuff to show it off. I think to help Nami not feel so insecure about it. Yeah, and it's, it is to like to balance it out because like Nami's getting it to be a part of of a literal crime family, even though she doesn't want to. It's like so that implication is like kind of proven there, like the mm -hmm. connection to criminality. So then for Nojiko to get it like all over and fully visible, it's like Nami can hide it, but it does actually mean something about her affiliations. Mm -hmm. So, but with Nojiko, she's kind of like committing the same like cultural sin and kind of fucking with her potential as a as a normal conformative person. Um, and she's making a, a hardcore statement in, make, in getting tattoos that like, yeah, she can't hide and that she doesn't even try to hide. Whereas mm -hmm. Nami's always trying to hide her uh, her tattoo. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's, I, I don't know how many people have talked about that or how many people have know about that type of thing, but it's uh, it's it kind of brings it into a new light when you consider like what this means to the kids that, or to the kids and families who might've been watching and that this like sort of not normalizes like tattoos, but sort of like uses sort of the taboo, the cultural taboo around tattoos as a way to connect characters more than just, oh, this anime character is joining this anime pirate guild and is getting a brand for life in this fictional universe. It means something outside of it. And I think that's really interesting. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. I think we'll do a triple okay. for this. I think it's probably best since we're doing the discussion after yeah. this episode, after this video, next One Piece upload will be a discussion. Okay, let's check out the next one. <laughs> what is this? It's that bird, remember? <laughs> they got the tangerines. Mm hmm Say Tabasco star? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> He's guarding it. <laughs> <laughs> She's just playing into it. Because Luffy would just eat all of them, like, instantly. Wanted poster. Where is this? Oh boy, what the hell? Having a big meeting of all the admirals. Now, what's going to be their justification? <laughs> what has he done? Oh, he's taken down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
Before they have a chance to get out of hand. Okay. These pirates that are doing our job for us, we need to take them down before they get out of hand. Yeah. It seems like that's all it is. All right. <laughs> she just immediately sees Usopp. I hope so. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Kobe's still here? <laughs> I feel like Luffy's biggest problem is just that he called himself a pirate. Because if he just said... I'm a pirate hunter. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that they would be uh, coming after him so hard. <laughs> Django over here? Or is he still even alive? I mean, everyone's still alive. Carl's just out there. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I just love his hat. The three absolute morons just get so excited about it. This chair is getting squeakier by the second. It's gonna be full body. Wasn't that his name? Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was like a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the days. It's like oh, the good old days. <laughs> Wild Joe. <laughs> Former. <laughs> oh my god. Just like insulting him to his face. Jesus, he is sloshed. He doesn't remember last week. <laughs> oh my god. I imagine there was a little time skip, but. They literally already defeated you. 
<laughs> Defeat is even a strong word. You just got bitched around by Sanji in the restaurant. <laughs> We're to find those guys. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> They're gonna go and then he's gonna see Sanji and then run away. Scoot up there. They literally, oh. I thought he was gonna have literally forgotten. <laughs> that Navy guy from some time. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch yourself. <laughs> what are you going to do, Zora? Is he going to slice the cannonball? Yet like, again, they could have just ducked. But he's showing how much he's grown. Yeah. He's like Mihawk. Hmm. Did, did Mihawk do that in the anime? I forget. He did it in the live know. action. I forget. I can't remember if I honestly can't remember if he did it in the in the anime. I feel like he did. I want. I just want Sanji to come out and this guy to see him and get scared. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. So is he gonna roll? Is, are we gonna see Shanks again? What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did Shank, do we know Shanks uses a sword? He has like a sword next to him. I thought he had a sword. I thought he did too, but I can't, I just can't remember. Cause now, cause I'm thinking of it cause now fucking, he's like, oh, I don't have any intention of settling things with you mm. now that you lost your left arm. And they're both, they both use yeah. swords, right? So.
<laughs> I love the western like piano. Mm. This is Windmill Town or whatever that was. <laughs> Old man. A reverse mountain? Really? Hmm. <laughs> it's a test of bravery, that's all it is. Everyone else is doubting it, but if Luffy is like, ah, let's just do it, that's probably the answer. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Logue Town. Mm. <laughs> the beginning and the end. Oh. Interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, right, yeah. I think they said at the... Hmm. I wonder what we're gonna find there. Buggy. <laughs> Alvita, what the hell? Alvita's all slimmed up. <laughs> Why is Alvita all slimmed up all of a sudden? It's Cause he called her fat. She was she was insecure. What if yeah? What if he just like humbled her and then? You know, she just like kind of kind of toughened up and then got skinny <laughs> to show like her her resolve. You know, was that her boat? Did it have the little like swan thing on the front? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I actually, I wasn't thinking of it like that. But I just saw the hearts. Yeah. And that's that was her whole thing. Like, I didn't notice that her. Hearts. I didn't no notice that her boat was like a heart shape before. Oh, maybe. Oh, it might no, be somebody different. different. It might be somebody different. Maybe it's Alvita's sister because Alvita had like the red lipstick as well, mm -hmm. and the whole heart theme. Maybe it's just her and she slimmed up, yeah, or it's somebody boat. completely different that, that has is, a very uh, similar aesthetic. That is, has a similar aesthetic. Maybe Women it's even pirates. a filler character. They can only have one thing going for them. That's true. Hearts. That's true. Women in Pirates, yep, that's right. Nojiko and Nami and, uh, <laughs> well, Nami, not quite, but yeah. Women are, can only be related to healing and love. That's, that's, that's all women that's are about. That's their purpose. Yeah. What a nice little episode. And if they're fat, the only growth that they can have is by getting skinny. Yeah, what a good episode. I, I like that a lot. Apparently it's this this episode and the next two are like mixed canon and filler. I don't know what that means. I heard talk about like cover stories or whatever and mm -hmm. things that like kind of fill out the world. And I think that that's what these are sort of about. But I've, you know, some, some people have been trying to inform us, but I've been trying to ignore that stuff as much as possible. But I do know that these next episodes but we're, I think we're supposed to watch. Okay. Well, I, I don't know if we have to, but- I like, would like we, to. I, I would like I, to I, as well. I don't have any problem. Um... I would like to as well. And it's only two episodes. I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, I like this. I liked all the little, it's similar to what we got in the live action of just everyone seeing the wanted poster, yeah. but this was a little bit more extended mm -hmm. on each person. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, yeah. See, and, and, like, kind of giving us insight. Kuro is back to being here. I think he just got he, like Kuro blasts off again or whatever, and then yeah. he, Kuro retired, and then we made that joke or whatever <laughs> with like every character. So they're just showing us, I think, that everybody is kind of back at it. Mm -hmm. Like every everyone who was we didn't really quite know. Back I at like it. this the whole thing full, body full body thing. That was pretty funny. What a loser. What a ma what a maroon. What an ignoramus. I love how his boat is like destroyed too. Yeah. And then the cannon and, like yeah. fires one thing, it cracks, and then it just explodes. That's I like a... this whole thing with Shanks is very interesting. It's it plays a... out pretty much the same as the live action, but it's the tone is kind of different. different. The tone I... is different. It's a lot more playful and like fun in the live action. I feel like it's kind of fun and funny. In this, it's like, it still is, it turns out that way, but they really try to build up the tension yeah. and give you a little bit more, uh, little bit more insight into their history, mm -hmm. you know? 
Yeah, like the, oh, I, I don't, like, oh, since you lost your arm, then I'm not gonna, like, get back at you, basically, is, like, a really interesting thing for Mihawk to say, as he's one of, like, the most powerful guys. Mm -hmm. Like, he's like, the most po powerful character that we've seen, but then he comes in, like, like he previously lost or, like, was slighted by Shanks in the past. Mm-hmm. Which is really interesting, because then we've seen both Mihawk and Buggy kind of have a grudge against him a little bit. Yeah. Um, which is just like building him up kind of like in small ways but behind the scenes as it goes along. Yeah. Obviously we saw like Buggy was just like overreacting and being stupid, but yeah. um, you know, Mihawk's not the kind of guy I don't think that... Like, Mihawk wouldn't, like, do something like Buggy did and then blame Shanks for it. So this that's a little bit more legit. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, it, it's, it is the similar vibe of them just, like, hanging out and, like, kind of wasting their life away and getting drunk. They're, like, completely set up on this island, like, not even doing anything, just yeah. hanging out. And it's, like, they're communicating that Shanks is, like kind of in like a little rut right now mm -hmm. well he's i guess like Maybe to I'm me crazy. especially here where they're like he's like oh i'm not feeling good and, and then he's like start he just immediately starts like oh let's let's yeah. keep drinking and then they're like but captain you you've been drinking constantly and feel like shit because you're just hung over 24 yeah. 7 and he's like oh well i better keep going it's like just so yeah it's it's like you can tell that that's like what he's been doing like for a yeah. while. Well, I wonder what I wonder what could have happened in the last like what I guess eight to ten years, whatever it would have been, mm -hmm. since uh, he left with Luffy. Like I wonder if they ran into like if they tried to go in the Grand Line and then like they just got came demolished. Back or... Yeah, I don't I don't know. Something must have happened. But um, I kind of want to. I feel like he he did have a sword before, right? Yeah. I feel like he did. Yeah, yeah. he hundred percent did. I guess we didn't. We never. It wasn't like a. It wasn't the highlight. Of well, he that. was like trying to not fight as well. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. we didn't we didn't really see him do too much. What I, what I'm trying to think about is, and maybe it'll be more. It, this might be worth it to go back and take a look. Uh, what I'm getting at is like, was when Shanks was originally made, was sword fighting his thing, mm. and or like is is it like a thing where like he lost his sword arm and now he's like kind of washed up like that. You know, like yeah. that's why I was also trying to think. Like, did did we learn? Did we learn that he was left-handed? Does that strike anything to you? I don't think we learned that really. I don't know. From what I remember. Yeah, I don't know. Because I'm thinking about back to the the backstory also with Buggy, and because they were all like fully opposites. Like that's the whole thing with mm. him and Buggy is they're like fully opposites. And he, uh, I was trying to think. Like for some reason, I had an inkling that Shanks was left-handed, and he lost his. Did he lose his left arm? Yeah, he lost I think his left so, arm. Yeah, because yeah, Mihawk said he lost his left arm. Um, but with the sword thing, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think, like, did, did Oda, like, now make, like, are they building him up as, like, a sword fighter, like, competitor, mm -hmm. former competitor to Mihawk, or, like, I'm just trying to get in the head of Oda here, like, what, what is he thinking with building up Shanks, or, like, what, what's he trying to do here? Um, because it feels like, with just those little context clues, it feels like we're learning a lot, but it's, we're, it's been so long since we watched those first episodes mm -hmm. that I can't quite remember. So maybe, maybe it'd be worth it to take a look back here. Trying to get a full shot of Shanks. Yeah, he doesn't have the sword here, but when he pulls up against that guy, he doesn't look to have it there. I feel like he drew a sword in this fight, but I can't quite remember. No, he, because he, he, he did like that thing. He doesn't really have the sword here. In this whole thing, he doesn't have a sword here. Mm -hmm. This episode with Shanks. Buggy. Remember how sad that dog was for no absolute reason? <laughs> I think it's this episode. And the next one is the full backstory of them. <laughs> what if that was actually the map to the One Piece and he just lost it right there? <laughs> Yeah, so we didn't really see him with a, a sword no. before. Interesting. So I wonder what this what the deal is with the sword. Is it is it um, they they adding something to his character, or is sword is that just like a weapon that he has, and he is more of like kind of what we saw before of just kind of just a regular like Luffy, kind of like a fighter, but without a devil fruit or something. Mm. Well, I think the thing, especially at the beginning, is like they're really playing him up as like 
like he doesn't really fight unless he absolutely yeah. has to. So I think like that could be part of not showing him with weapons. Um, it could also be like, you know, not knowing what direction the story is going to take. So just making him as ambiguous as possible so that yeah. then later on when it's like, oh, actually I want him to have this relationship with Mihawk. So we're going to give him a sword to yeah. like allude to the fact that they, they could have had like a similar like Zoro versus Mihawk battle in the past. But like when Mihawk wasn't on the level that he is now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And it seems like Shanks maybe defeated Mihawk back in the day is what they're saying. Like yeah, well it seems. But I, but whether whether or not it is like a Zoro versus Mihawk like competitive swordsman or just like competitive big pirate fighter guys, yeah. you know, like that's that's kind of what I'm I'm trying to think about or like where you know is is Oda going towards like they're meeting each other on this equal level level of like swordsmanship or is it more they're just competitors at this higher level and they're showing they're giving us kind of a scale of where Shanks is at his prime versus mm -hmm. where he is now or you know. Like, are, are they leaning more into the swordsman thing? Or are they, they just kind of giving us a, a general idea? Because they didn't have the sword before, and now this this looks like a relic, like, this, this looks like an intricate part of his arsenal. Like, this doesn't look like just, like, you know, when we saw in the flashbacks before with Buggy and, like, all the other pirates, they just have, like, these kind of pirate the cutlasses generic, thing. Yeah. yeah. It seems like there's something going on here, and I wonder if he, if he picked this up after he lost his arm to compensate for, like, a missing arm to, like, help sort of, co yeah, compensate for that, or if he... If that was always a part of the thing, we just didn't see it before, and then, you know, he is more of like a swordsman type figure, like in, in his roots, mm -hmm. or you know, what, how how deep are they gonna go with this? I'm just thinking about this, and I hope to see more of it as we go along. I'm just kind of breaking it down a little bit, but it is interesting to hear that they had like more of a rivalry back in the day, and that Shanks kind of bested, kind of has a one up on Mihawk. Yeah. Mihawk's just like, I don't really give a shit about beating you now because you're not the man you once were. Yeah. K kind of in a similar, in a s similar kind of thing, like with what was going on with uh, Kuina, where uh, they were like, oh, I'll beat you one day. And then that opportunity, he's like always, always a loser to Kuina. Yeah. Because, uh, because she died and and kind of like how's, how Mihawk is saying, like, I, I, you know, me beating you doesn't matter anymore because you aren't the, the person. Mm -hmm. I, I can't fight the person that beat me. Yeah, so interesting stuff there. Other than that, that's all I have to say. Yeah. Leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you next time, Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.